what is up guys? Welcome to episode four of building an online claw machine app. Today we're gonna to be applying the prints to the back of the machines. We'll have the claw craziness print on the side for the side camera, and then whatever prize is in the machine will be on the back of the machine. We're gonna be installing the ramps to the machine that the prizes will fall down with the line break sensor attached to it. If the prize passes that sensor, it'll tell you that you want a prize. We will be installing the glass for the machine around the chute so prizes can't fall in or roll in, and then we'll also be installing the front glass so prizes can't roll out. Let's jump right into it. So here is the box the prints arrived in. We have eight generic claw craziness prints for the side of the machine, and then we have eight different prize prints for the back of the machine. We apply the prints to a piece of ala panel. It is a mix between plastic and aluminum sheet. It's pretty durable and also pretty smooth. Once the prints are applied, we're going to attach a piece of Velcro to the back and then a piece of Velcro to the back of the machine. This way we can take it off and then also back on. That way they're interchangeable and we don't ruin one if we want to put an old prize back. Then we take the clock craziness print and put it on the side of the machine. This will be a permanent print so it's applied directly to the side of the machine rather than being removed. After a little while, those were all applied and finished and here is the end product. Looks very, very good, very nice, very colorful. Next, we need to do apply the glass around the prize chute and then also the glass in front of the machine so prizes can't roll forward. These are clear pieces of acrylic. We also have edge pieces with some double-sided clear tape on it. One end of the double-sided tape goes underneath the cutout hole for the machine where the prizes fall down and then the other side gets attached to the clear acrylic for the wall. After that, we attach the piece of glass for the front of the machine. And here's the end result, looks pretty good. Now we have to make the ramp. And the reason why we have to do this is because we need to guide where the prizes fall. If the ramp wasn't there and the prize fell on the chute, it could pretty much land anywhere on a piece of hardware or a piece of wire, break a wire, you never know, the possibilities are endless. So we have to make a ramp that the prizes are guided down. They'll roll out of the machine and onto the floor and in the meantime, they'll pass a line brake sensor. The line brake sensor is at the end of the ramp, and then when the prize falls down the ramp, it passes that sensor. When that sensor is passed, the circuit board knows that something passed it and to give the prize to whoever is playing the machine at that time. That's how things get automatically added to your cart. So we got a metal bracket, we bolted it to the side of the machine on a little bit of an angle, then we took another piece of that ala panel material from earlier, cut it out to the size that we wanted it to be, and then we attached a piece of wood to the end of it so there was a little bit of a wall so the prizes couldn't roll over. Then we took a strip of that double-sided mounting tape and attached it to the top of the bracket. We took that piece of L panel and attached it to that mounting tape. All that's left now to do is test it out and see if it works. It looks great, so there we go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you disliked, leave a dislike. If you really enjoyed, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.